this evening. It's up close to 70 degrees, and mosquitoes are a little bit bad today. Uh-oh. Usually they're not this bad, but uh, I'm back up in a tree where I shot that doe the other day because this should be a pretty good spot. Um, there was one here this morning when I got here. I seen two yesterday night right up on the ridge. So it's probably a pretty good chance that one's going to come in here this evening. So hopefully that one from this morning that was feeding under here right before daylight will come back through this evening and I get a shot at her. So y'all stay tuned. We'll see what we can see. see what happens. Y'all stay tuned.
shoot instinctive. I pick my spot with my eyes and look at it. I think what's wrong is that the shoulder is such a visible, like a such a visible attractant that where it's got the crease and it's got the bumps and lumps and knots and all that stuff. I think what I'm doing is I'm just it's the first thing that I can see to look at and that's what I've done so that's what I've done the past two times so I don't know I'm gonna get down and go look and hopefully that arrow got deep if it's, it's in there good I mean it's right there at the shoulder as long as it got that long and she's dead but it's gotta get that long so y'all stay tuned I'm getting ready to jump down and see what I can't see Right here is where she came through at. And she got to about right there. And she smelled my ground scent. But then she run out to here. And that's when the that's when I finally got the camera on because I could stand up. But let's go look and see what we can see. Right here is where she would have been standing. Right there is where she ducked and spun. I don't see no blood on impact. But I'm going to start easing down this way. Where she run to and looking for blood. If I don't see anything, I'm going to go get that. I was just walking down through here. Where I figured she ran to at. And uh, I just cut across some blood. And it's pretty good blood. Right there's some of it. There's some more right out here. Oh yeah, there's good blood up here. And there's my arrow. Let's go get my arrow. Oh yeah. I believe. I believe I'd call that a dead deer. Yeah, right there's some more blood. Yeah. Look at that. Let's get to tracking her. I was coming down here to the truck. I just drop straight off this path and go straight down there and right there's my truck. And I look up. And look what lays right there. Right there she is. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, I was gonna invite Dad to come help me look, but... <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna go down here and get her. I'm kinda glad she died right there, because it's... It's a little thick through there, if y'all can't tell. A pretty good sized duck too. Right on the path. Oh man, what a shot, look at that. Right in the shoulder. All right guys, I gotta get you to look at this shot. So her leg probably would have been like right here. And that right there, right through the shoulder blade. I don't mean to shoot him in the shoulder blade. And I know, Probably like, oh, where you're a fan of single battles, you're probably shooting them on the, in the shoulder on purpose to prove a point. But I'm not. I promise I'm not. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get her set up here real quick. There she is. Uh, I couldn't ask for no better. I mean, I didn't think I got enough penetration at all to kill that deer. Uh, it looks like I did. Uh, this is my papa's old recurve laid one down Wednesday and this is how it was supposed to end but it didn't and uh, I got redemption this morning so uh, you should have seen me trying to fight to get that thing up his heel and try to move it I went ahead and punched my tag so that I could uh, so that I could uh, get the deer up here and get it set up because it took forever and I'm starting to sweat now so I was gonna actually I found the blood and I was going to back out and go find Dad, get a hold of him, and see if he wanted to come help track it. And, uh, well, I didn't make it that far. <laughs> like, this is actually the path you got to walk down and get back to the trucks, like right here. And I was coming down it and looked down the hill, and right there she was. So, didn't even have to. All I got to say is thank you, Lord, for the memories and to be able to kill a couple deer with that. Papa's old bow and it just feels good. I I hit that deer right in the shoulder. Uh, when I get home and go to skin it, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to 
get in there and look at that scapula and see what that single bevel did because uh, I hit that other one in the shoulder blade too and you know I'm a firm believer in that if I didn't have them single bevels on there the last two deer I'd never killed them so pretty cool pretty cool anyway thank you lord I'm gonna get ready to go scare him I'm gonna try to get a hold of dad he must not be out of the woods yet I got service up here but down there where he went I felt the spirit about this spot so go get her home and get her cut up I need some more deer burgers so it's probably where she's gonna be going to so y'all stay tuned and keep feeling spirit Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please like, subscribe, helps me out. Get ready for the next one and y'all keep feeling the spirit.